All right, so in this video, we want to determine whether these two values over here of x for this function are either going to be a maximum or a minimum, and we want to use instantaneous rate of change to prove this. So we're going to use an interval in this question specifically. We're going to use an interval of 0 0.001, but you could use different values like 0 0.1 or 0 0.001, depending on your class. Now, in order to prove whether these points are minimums or maximums, let's understand this situation out a bit, and then I'll explain the calculations. Let's say I have a graph, and here x is 1.5, right? If this is a maximum, the rate of change before should be positive, and the rate of change after should be negative, because this is a positive slope and this is a negative slope. So let's say I assume this point is 1.499, 1 and this is 1.501. I've used an interval of 0 0.001. If I prove that the slope between these two points is positive, and the slope between these two points is negative, and I'm using instantaneous rate of change here, I can prove that this is a maximum. Whereas if the slope before is negative and after is positive, I can prove that it's a minimum. So that's how you use instantaneous rates of change. Now, if this slope is positive 0 0.5, this slope here should be negative 0 0.5. That's going to prove that this is a maximum because they're going to have identical slopes on the opposite sides, proving it's a maximum. Same with this, but just with the flipped signs. So let's actually do this over here. How do we do, do the steps? Well, let's find f of these three values, f of 1.499, f of 1.5, and f of 1.501. We're going to start with finding these three points by solving in, in this function. So I'll do this in my calculator here. 499 power of 4 plus 142, 1.499 to the power of 3 plus 102, 499 squared minus 1386, 1.499 plus 3. I'm going to take a lot of decimal places here. So I get negative 1321.6866. Let's do this over here. So I'm just going to replace the 1.499 with 1.5s in my calculator really quick. And I get negative 1321.6875. They should be really close to these values. And now let me do the third calculation here really quick. I get negative 1321.6866. So as you notice, these two are actually exactly the same, which should be the case. So now we're going to find uh, IROC before. Okay, the, we're going to find the first IROC. So IROC is just, you can use your slope formula if you want, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. I know there's another way to write it as well, but this is a lot easier. This is y2, y1, x2, x1. Or you could do it the opposite way as well. It doesn't really matter. So negative 1321.6875 minus negative 1321.6866. Divided by 1.5 minus 1.499, the bottom is going to come to just 0 0.001 because that's what we picked in our interval. Let's do this calculation in the top. 
Hit negative zero point zero 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 nine. I get my slope to be negative zero point nine for before. Let me do the calculation for after now. I'll do it over here. So I'll just squeeze it in over here. I'll write the stuff a bit smaller for the next line. So here I'm just doing this minus this divided by this minus this. The negative one three two one point six eight six six minus negative one three two one point six eight seven five divided by one point five zero one minus 1.5 is going to equal to positive 0 0.0009 over 0 0.001, which is positive 0 0.9. So as we can see, these two are identical, except they have different signs, which, like I said, should be the case. So because our slope is before, before is negative, and our slope after is positive, we're in this situation here where we have a minimum. So we, we have a min at x equals 1.5, and we've proved it using IROX. So let's look at the second point over here, x equals to negative 7 over 3. We're going to do the exact same thing, but now we're going to just convert it to a decimal because this is a bit difficult to take in, as an exact value. Preferably, you'd like to use exact values. So this is negative seven over three. It's just negative 2.333. We'll take it at three decimal places. We could do four as well if you wanted. It's not a huge issue, but I'll just leave it as three over here. One thing to note is that we won't get the same answer now due to rounding mistakes. The answers will be off by a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to pick negative 2.332 and then, oops, actually four because that's less than one. And here I'm going to pick negative 2.332. That's why I'm adding 0 0.001. So again, I'm going to do these three calculations in my calculator. Start with the first one of negative 2.334. Negative 2.334. Just replacing all of them in the formula. And with syntax error, typed something wrong. You get 2255.1849. So let's try replacing it with threes now and see what I get. And I get 2255.1851. And then let's do the last calculation.
I get 2255.1841. So now again, I want to do the slope with the before point and then the after points. So let's start with the before. So I rock equals y2 minus y1. Bottom's just going to be 0 0.001, but I'll just write the calculation for now. Let's do the calculation on the top 2255.1851 minus 255.1849. Oops, I have a small typo. Is zero point zero 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 two. Basically, get a slope of zero point two. So the slope before is positive, which means very likely the slope after is going to be negative. But let's do the calculation to prove that. Don't make any assumptions because technically it could be a stationary inflection point as well, which means that you'd have two positive slopes. So 2255.1841, y2 minus y1, 2255.18, oops, minus 2255.1851. Bottom is just going to be 0 0.001. I won't write the full calculation out. Let's do this 2255.1841 minus 2255.1851. is negative 0 0.001. I get a slope of exactly negative one over here. So again, these two, like I said, won't match. And that's mainly because of the rounding mistake. But again, this is a perfectly acceptable calculation. If you use the exact value of 7 over 3, you would get these two to be exactly the same. So before the slope is positive, after the slope is negative, which means we have a maximum, as you can see, this is a max at x equals negative seven over three. 